Good day, everyone. I would like to talk about love at first sight and its possible connection to our past lives. If you are wondering how I know about the real existence of reincarnation, then you could find out about it from my previous videos, as well as from my free ebook Simple Truths of Life. I had three cases when I fell in love at first sight. It may sound strange, but the second and third time I fell in love at first sight with the same girl. The first such experience happened when I was in the ninth grade. There was a time when a few of my classmates and I sat on a bench at the first floor of our school, in front of the main door, which is overlooked by a long corridor leading to the gym and dining room. I think many Russians will recognize this H-like layout of a standard Soviet school when viewed from above. We had a physical education lesson, which we did not go to, and the school corridors were empty and quiet. I sat on the edge of the bench next to the corridor. Suddenly, two girls appeared from that corridor, quickly sweeping the floor with brooms. My gaze was drawn to a blonde girl wearing a tight black skirt and a white shirt that emphasized her small breasts, and I remember very well how time seemed to slow down in my perception. I fell in love with her at first sight. I constantly thought and dreamed about her. I just couldn't stop thinking about her. Due to my speech problems, which I did not find a solution to until I was 18 years old, I did not dare to go up to that girl and tell her about my situation and the feelings that I suddenly had about her. I only know that she was in the 11th grade, and most likely she was several years older than me. Second case. Years ago, I was walking down our long hallway to my apartment when I met a man with a dog. I remember this because I remember exactly how, looking at him, I thought that he could not have a beautiful girlfriend. I never had a girlfriend, which, unfortunately, sometimes aroused not the best thoughts in me. And that thought calmed me, even so it was erroneous. After a short time, I returned home and was going up the stairs. In front of me was a slender blonde girl. Even so, I didn't see her face, I immediately fell in love with her at first sight. But what was my disappointment when she rang the bell at the very door from which the man with the dog had come out a few days earlier. Alas, then I decided to masturbate my bitterness away on a porn site and then tried to distract my mind with something else. There was another day when Walking to the door of my apartment after a walk, I saw that very blonde girl and the man, and also with them was a dark-haired girl. They were obviously happy and were about to go inside the man's one-room apartment. It was obvious that the blonde was saying something to her friends about me while smiling wryly. Maybe my long hair was the reason. Or maybe there was something else. I don't know. But the fact that I was being wafted by a beautiful girl I liked couldn't help but bring bitterness to my life. And I tried to get away from reality, in imagination, in work, and in video games. The third case. At the end of October, I was returning home from a walk, but at home I was met with the unbearable noise of a hammer drill coming from the neighbors. I decided to go outside again. As I was leaving the apartment, I looked to the side and saw, at the same time, a very beautiful girl with blonde hair cut to her shoulders, leaving the apartment further down the corridor. I thought about talking to her, but I just quickly walked down the hall to the door. I heard her quick footsteps right behind me. We also quickly went down the stairs and headed for the front door. I opened the door and went outside, holding it open for the young girl. Then our eyes met. And when she said in her gentle voice, Спасибо, or thank you in English, I realized that I was falling in love with her at first sight. I stared after her for a while, noting her future. Over the course of the next months, I couldn't help but think of that young blonde woman I didn't know at all. I knew it was very strange, but that was my reality. To restore peace in my mind, I had to do a whole investigation, during which I learned a lot. I will omit the unnecessary details that I wrote about in my book, 
But in the end, it turned out that the man was cheating on his wife with those girls. And soon I discovered that the bond with short hair was the same girl that I fell in love with a few years earlier. She was living in the same apartment where the same man still lived. I temporarily forgot about that incident, but remembered it in the course of my search for the answer to the question of whom I fell so deeply in love with. As soon as I realized the girl was sleeping with a married man, absolutely all feelings that for some reason I had for her disappeared. So, both cases of love at first sight had a very strong impact on my life. The first case made me retreat into myself. I became absorbed in my imagination. And the last one, the third, served as the key to unlocking my isolation. I began to work on myself, and in subsequent years, I was able to remove many problems and fears from my life. What is the reason for such love at first sight? Why, in my case, it had to be exactly those two girls, and not some others? I saw many other bonds in my life, but did not fall in love with them. Maybe it's about reincarnation. It may well be that we knew each other in past lives, but then why didn't those girls fall in love with me at first sight? It's possible that in previous lives, if we assume that this theory is correct, they did not love me the way I loved them, or their current life has developed in such a way that they could not fall in love with me. I was once surprised to learn that there are people who do not believe in the existence of such love. But then I thought, maybe they are right to some extent. Perhaps this is a crush at first sight, a strong infatuation, but not love. Perhaps we are again dealing with misused words to describe things in nature. After all, love is a somewhat different feeling. People can love their children, parents, and friends. It also props up my previous thought about why those girls might not have fallen in love with me. Their wives developed in such a way that, by the time they had such a life experience and knowledge that did not allow them to lose their heads. I myself have often had crushes on girls, actresses and streamers, for example, all of which went away after I started meeting girls and learned a few lessons from experience that made me stronger, wiser and calmer. Then, from the book of Michel de Marquesa over the Golden Planet, it is known that during his journey into the psychosphere of the Earth, he could feel familiarity with Otiwonzi, with the vibrations of his astral body, when Otiwonzi was king of Mu. So it turns out that when in this life we meet a person for the first time, and we actually knew them in the past lives, we may feel that we already knew this person before. Naturally, we very often meet people whom we somehow knew in past lives. And of course it would be strange if we fell in love with every such person. I think it's a lesson that there are times when people can go down the same path, but there will also be times when those paths have to go in different directions. This is a lesson in letting go of those with whom we had a wonderful time, no matter how short or long it was, and continue to live happily in the present time, because we are sure to have many more joys in life. That's all. If you've experienced love at first sight, then I would be interested in hearing about it in the comments. Thank you.